it's for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I, I don't know what's come over these boys. Stop this. We... We won't ask again. Careful! Don't trust a word out of her mouth. Our sister went to the Hag, and we ain't seen her since. Hand over heart, I don't know their sister. I will gladly help you all look for her, though. Enough! Where is she? Bollocks! You were supposed to rush to my defense, love. Fat lot of good you are. Some advice? You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. Bye-bye now. Bloody hells. She just disappeared. I ain't seen nothing like that before. It's our sister, Marina. She's... Well... She was in a bad way after her husband died. Started saying weird things, like how she was gonna bring him back. Next thing, she's gone looking for the hag. Of all the stupid things to do. And we haven't seen her since. And no good ever came from dealing with a hag. None of this matters, all right? We need to get her back, and fast! Are you joking? I ain't got a clue who you are. No way I'm leaving Rena to you. But, Joel... Not a chance. We're getting her back on our own. Now, come on. A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. You blink and the wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. Brothers. I guess they didn't find their sister. Whoever did this wanted them to suffer. We need to be careful. Perfectly delightful. I can't talk right now. Ah, a fellow wanderer. Forgive the uh, aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. An old hunter's trick. 
If you can't mask your scent, spoil it. Today, the same as you, a humble supplicant, come to bargain with the lady of this house. That is why you came to her lair, I take it, to bargain. Because this is her domain. If you are here, it's because it suits her. Her kind have hidden among us since the first darkness. And their knowledge is matched only by their spite. Know how to ask, and they'll share that knowledge. If you're fool enough to pay their price. Whatever's easiest to lose, and the hardest to do without. But the thing I hunt has gone to ground. If she can tell me how to draw him out, I'll pay whatever she asks. Truth is like a blade, my friend. We can arm ourselves with it, or just as easily find it pressed against our throat. I would not put you in danger. Perhaps I was hasty with my words. I hunt a vampire spawn called Astarian. I'm bound to bring him back to Baldur's Gate, alive. Though I cannot swear to his condition once my tribe are done with him. Is he known to you? My people were recently attacked in the night. Our camp set upon by a band of vampire spawn. In the chaos of battle, one of them stole away with our children. And we've been searching for them ever since. We believe this Astarian knows exactly what happened that night and where to find our little ones. If captured, my people will make him talk. So I ask again, is he known to you? I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all, you'd best have one hells of an apology for me, young man. I do like the mouthy ones. You know, I was gonna give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door, but I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Mayrina. I won't say it again. Keep your own little nose in your own little dish, Petal. I don't like busybodies. Besides, you have bigger problems. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it?
You don't need to bear the brunt of this alone, precious. Auntie Ethel is here for you. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? Well, that depends on the job. A removing a parasite is no small feat. But I like you, Petal. So I'll only ask for something small. One of your pretty little peepers. I pluck it from your head, kiss it for luck, then back in it goes. Won't take but a moment. That is my price. Nothing more, nothing less. Can I please? Quiet, you've had enough pampering. And you, my door is always open, Petal. Auntie Ethel is here for you. It's about to be returned in kind. have gone far.
Thank <laughs> you. 